Hey Leo, welcome to your um, WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. So this is just a quick check for your weekly energies. This will be for those of you who are wanting to get insights with regards to your love connections. To all my subscribers, thank you for your continued support. And um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I also do weekly, monthly readings and weekend um, check-ins. So go ahead and check out my channel for those videos. All right. Let's see. What do we have for Leo? What's... What is going to be your spread today? Let's see. Leo in love. Leo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. In love. Your overall energy is the hermit. It feels like you are... It feels like you are undergoing something a difficult um, transition here a difficult transition in love spending some time on your own a lot of thinking a lot of inner work perhaps that's being done at the bottom of the deck we have the five of wands a lot of inner work leo there's a situation that um, you are so passionate about. Um, you've probably been talking much to this person pretty recently, um, wanting to work together, wanting to work things out. Yeah, But I do feel that you are moving on, or this is you quietly transitioning from, from all the drama that you have both been in yeah, into a rather solitary kind of energy yeah there's been a situation that you've been communicating with someone and um, you've been pursuing um, you've been doing a lot of you've been putting a lot of effort yeah to balance things out with someone and it ended up um, into some sort of uh, conflict you're not getting a peaceful or harmonious resolution with one another. It could be due to some competition too. Um, competition can be competition with other, you know, having different or several um, love connections, that could be it, or competition in terms of the priorities of the person in, in, in one's life, yeah? You could be competing with um, other people, with that person's um, interest or their needs or, you know, their priorities. Let's just put it that way. When you say that you're a match, that means that at that point in time, you match each other's priorities and therefore you're able to put in the right amount of effort to work together. Sometimes your priorities may be about the relationship, the other person's respond. Um, priority is more about healing or growing on their own or being on their own but it doesn't mean that they love you less you know that that sort of thing that's what i see here so there's been a situation where you're really trying hard to to work out and um perhaps there's been a lot of drama in the past and you're wanting to put that aside yeah just to move this situation into a better phase Mm -hmm. But somehow, um, instead of moving a situation into a better, calmer face, um, it looks to me like there could be an argument or a verbal encounter. And somebody here has been pretty straightforward in what they want, what their priorities are. Yeah. And they were heard. Yeah. They were heard. And for you, I feel that you have been processing that information. I feel that there is also a, a sense of you stopping as, to, you know, after that conversation with someone, you're, you've probably pulled back. 
I feel that you've pulled back your strength. Even though you miss this person, you want to be with this person, but you've, you know, you've tried to gain um, strength on your own, be strong on your own, because what else can you do? Mm -hmm. What else can you do? The person that you're dealing with, this is someone who, um, this is someone I feel that is, um, have been having several struggles on their own. And for those struggles that they have been in, they are not able to achieve victory or they were never able to achieve victory. And in this encounter, this person is feeling at a loss. Yeah, and this person misses you a lot. Yeah, this person has a lot of love for you. Yeah, has a lot of love for you. But then with this encounter, I do feel that instead of um, converting this situation into a brand new beginning, um, you were just sort of one step before that. Yeah, you were not able to push through a breakthrough. Mm -hmm. Now, I do see that... Um, there is this possibility of fixing things out. But this is something that that is not triggered from your side. Yeah, the possibility of giving this situation another chance is there. There is a, a possibility for this situation to be fixed, to be address to be you know to if you're wanting to grow and expand with this person to be in a relationship there is still that possibility of fixing it but the key element here is not on you the opportunity has to come from the other person yeah you've done your part here yeah you've already done your part i feel this is a cycle that needs to end we have the end here and um ending doesn't mean that you just stop talking it means that you even have to stop um, energetically giving to this person so whenever you feel like you're still thinking about this person as of the moment it's better to redirect your energy your thoughts that could actually help you expedite the process of this person coming back up with the opportunity yeah the moment you're able to wrap this up physically and energetically you will start seeing the what's coming you will start to see the the beginning of a beautiful outcome yeah this is reality check for you it's no longer the fantasy mode yeah it's n it's not that it's no longer the infatuation you see things as, as they are right now yeah, you see things as they are, and um, the sooner, like I said, the sooner you can process this ending within you, the sooner you stop energetically giving to the situation, the faster you will see this opportunity come coming in. Otherwise, the more you fixate about this person, waiting and, um, you know, still energetically giving to that situation, that means you're still you know, keep on thinking about um, the failed, so-called failed cycle, the longer this death process will prolong, will be prolonged, yeah? And you will find yourself being stuck in just trying to move on, trying to push, but you will find yourself alone there. That's what I see. We have the clam and um, the puppet. Okay, so in as much as you have um, intent, you know, whatever your intention, and I feel your intentions are really good towards this connection, perhaps to even help out um, to alleviate the pain and the difficulties that this person is experiencing. The key element here is restraint, especially if you have done your part. Yeah. Clam, ting, close. Um, restraining from giving more and allowing this person to bring in the opportunity for you. Yeah. You have other intentions, but I feel that the message for you here is your intention 
should be rather more of restraining to give more. And I feel that you will learn that, especially if you're doing this Ormet energy, that is your overall energy. Okay, let's see. Before this, let's get you additional cards. What else do we have? Yeah, there is some death in death, D E P T H, death into this situation um, that you did not even expect that you're going to go there, but you did. Yeah. And the more you have dug deeper, the more you have realized that it feels like it's a bottomless pit of issues. You know, you have probably helped or extended to this person as much as you could, but the moment you even reach to the point of addressing whatever they you know their basic need or whatever their priorities are it feels like this person found another loophole and you know <laughs> went out so it's like it's it's like um you're you're trying to catch a fish and you couldn't catch it you know that's the energy i am getting and <clears throat> and um the best uh, way to handle it is um is to recognize the fact that you're not the only one who has who has had this problem a lot of people has been going through this as well and if you know some friends um relatives you know who has been in in this situation it's better to talk with those people you know so exchange um information um learn from them because experience wise life experience we learn it on the day-to-day -day basis and it's sometimes it's always best to learn it from people who have experienced it firsthand mm -hmm. that's what i see let's see what messages did they want to tell you for this person oh this is sparks fly okay that's not a message i want a message um okay here sparks fly you may feel right now that um the spark that you have had with this person may have been gone you know it's no longer there you may feel that but i do feel that this person misses you you have a special spot in this person's heart it's just that they are coming in with an energy of broken yeah broken type of energy and that's the reason why it's better for you to wait on this person to give the opportunity rather than trying to, to chase. Because the more you chase a broken person, the more they fly away, right? And even the slightest spark that has been left, uh, you need a USB lighter for that to continue to continue the spark. Let's see what messages are they wanna do they wanna tell you this time. I miss you regardless of how things seem. We will be together again. So I'm gonna leave it at that and um, let me know if this uh, resonates. Um, check out my other videos as well in my channel and um, don't forget to hit like and subscribe.